Hey guys, recently Ubuntu has made the decision, starting with Ubuntu 18.04, during the install process you will have an option. You will have an option between doing the traditional full install of Ubuntu with the entire suite of programs that mainline Ubuntu tends to come with, or you will now have the option of ticking on minimal install. A minimal install still gives you your graphical desktop environment, the GNOME 3 desktop environment, but it will not come with the full suite of programs that the traditional full install of Ubuntu comes with. It'll be much more bare bones. You'll probably have like the essential programs you absolutely have to have, a few system utilities, probably a text editor, a web browser, and a terminal, and that's about it. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to download today's daily build of Ubuntu 1804 Bionic Beaver. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two virtual machines. And I am actually going to install two instances of 1804 side by side. One of them, I'm going to do the full install of Ubuntu 1804. And the other one, I'm going to do the minimal install of 1804. That way we can see exactly how they differ. All right, I've got two virtual machines created here. All right, I've come to the installer for both uh, versions of Ubuntu. Again, this is the same version. They're actually booting off the same ISO, actually. Uh, so when I choose install Ubuntu, the installation procedure is going to be the same for both, but I'm going to come to a certain screen where I have the option to tick on an, a minimal install, and that's what I'm going to do for the virtual machine on the left. I've already entitled it Ubuntu 1804 Minimal. The Ubuntu on the right is Ubuntu 1804 Full is the name I've given it. All right, keyboard layout, both of them have correctly chosen English US. I'm just going to click Continue. All right, and this is the screen where they differ. Uh, download updates while installing Ubuntu has been ticked on by default in both of them. I don't think this was ticked on by default before. I'm going to leave it ticked on by default for both of them. Shouldn't be any updates. This is a daily build. Install third-party software and graphics. That's for your Wi-Fi drivers, MP3, and other stuff. Actually, I'm not going to bother doing that. You know what? I'm not going to bother downloading any updates either, even though there probably shouldn't be. I don't plan on keeping either, either one of these VMs. When I'm done with this video, I'm going to blow both of these VMs away. I just don't have the disk space to keep so many VMs. I've got a million of them on my hard drive already. All right, the VM on the left. I'm going to go ahead and choose Minimal Install and click Continue. The VM on the right, I'm just going to do the standard full Ubuntu install. All right, erase disk and install Ubuntu. Yeah, I'm not going to do any manual partitioning. I'm just going to... Let Ubuntu do its automatic partitioning. Just going to click continue on both of them. Uh, both of them have correctly chosen my time zone here in the US, the central time zone. I've created a username for both VMs. I also created a very strong password for both, both uh, virtual machines here. And the installation procedure is continuing. It'll probably probably take between five and ten minutes for for this part of the installation to complete. Okay, the installation has completed. Now I need to reboot both virtual machines. All right, I'm rebooting both virtual machines. Again, I put the minimal virtual machine on the left, the full virtual machine, the full install on the right. Both of them boot up very fast. Let me log in to both of them. And we wait. Oftentimes the very first time you log into a desktop environment, for the very first time after install, sometimes it takes a little longer than normal. But that's not too bad. Uh, visually, there are some differences right away. In the full install of Ubuntu over here on the right, you have seven things in the dock. You have Firefox, Thunderbird, our file manager, Rhythmbox, the audio player, LibreOffice Writer, the Ubuntu Software Center, Help, and a link to the Amazon store. On the minimal install here on the left, you have Firefox, the file manager, 
and then the Ubuntu Software Center help and a link to the Amazon store. Okay, now let me uh, drag my head out of the way a little bit. I'm going to open up the application menus in both VMs. The minimal on the left here, the full on the right, and I can already tell you the full has two screens of applications. Pretty much all the applications that are installed on the minimal ISO are all fit in one screen. So let's discuss some differences. So the minimal, we have, again, a link to the Amazon store. You're probably just going to want to get rid of that anyway. Who shops from Amazon uh, like that? Calculator, file manager, web browser. Then, of course, you have some system utilities, your input methods, language, power stats. Remina is a uh, remote desktop utility. Then, you, of course, you have your settings manager, your uh, software and updater tool, uh, software sources and startup application, system monitor, your terminal, of course. You have to have a text editor, of course. The graphical Ubuntu software center. Then you have your little utilities category. That'll have your archiver utility character map this utility and all that sort of thing and then you have your video player and that's it that is the Ubuntu minimal install uh, what do you have on the full install that you did not have on the minimal well first of all you have solitaire that's not in the uh, minimal the uh, Google Calendar is also not over here cheese which is a webcam app is also not in the minimal install um, the LibreOffice suite you have uh, Calc and Office Writer, Presentation, none of that. The, none of, no LibreOffice in the Minimal install. Mahjong is another game not installed in the Minimal. Mines, also not here in the Minimal. Uh, Rhythmbox, I, I just realized they did not install Rhythmbox in the Minimal install. They gave you a video player, that's the GNOME vi videos, or the old Totem player. But they did not install any kind of a music player. I'm guessing they're assuming they gave you a video player. A video player usually can play music too. So it's doing double duty in the minimal ISO. All right. Uh, settings, of course, that's your settings manager. That's in both. Shotwell Photo Manager is also not in the minimal. Simple Scan, not in the minimal. Sudoku is not in the minimal. Thunderbird. Thunderbird is not in the minimal. They gave you Firefox for a web browser, but they did not install an email client in the minimal install. You don't have a to-do ap application in the minimal. You don't have a, a BitTorrent client, such as Transmission, in the minimal install. And then the utilities, I think, let's see, did they give you a few more utilities in this one? Yeah, they gave you uh, two more utilities in the full install than you got in the minimal install. So, for those of you wondering about Ubuntu's minimal install, oh, I got some kind of crash, but this is a daily build. It's still beta software. Uh, those of you wondering the difference between the new minimal install option and the Ubiquity installer for Ubuntu 18.04, there you go. Check it out, guys. Peace.